Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make a nice warm fire. Um, so, first thing you want to do is make sure your fireplace is open. And then, when you do that, make sure that your flue is open. Ours isn't. So, oh, actually, now it's not. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see that little bit of light in there, right there. Um, make sure that you have that open or else smoke is going to be coming in here like crazy. So get your cardboard or kindling and then paper. Um, paper will help keep the heat um, steady. Not only that, it will... How, how, how do I say this? I don't know. Um... This is going to be a full tutorial on how to make a nice fire. So you got your paper. And then a couple of Oh, hold up. One second. I do the other day. Make sure after every fire, clean up your fireplace. Uh, clean up your fireplace. I forgot to do that yesterday because I had to go to bed and the uh, embers were still uh, going. Um, so let's just brush everything to the side. That's okay if you brush everything to the side because you don't want the fire to be on the side. Let's put our broom back. Okay. You get your fire. Uh, I cannot speak this morning, guys. You get your paper, and stick it all the way in the back, right there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but so let's see here. Let's get this adjusted. So if you guys can see that, I'm not sure if you can. Um, that's where our wood will be going. Oh, that's so bright. There you go. Um, that's where your where your wood will be going. Um, so just underneath that, cool thing. Get your piece of paper or bag, paper bag, whatever. Um, and then you stuff it under there. Preferably big chunks or medium chunks. Don't really use small because it's not gonna hold the fire good. So. do that all the way. Like you cover the whole bottom underneath. Like this is the smallest you should get. Not like not this small. Not this small. This small. Alright, so let's touch that under there. Oh I guess I'll cut. Try to cut this out. We're already, oh, shucks. We're already almost out of paper. Alright, so let's do that. Place that there. Alright, let's check that under there. Alright, we're almost done with this. Feel free to just skip past if you want. Um, I don't know why that's there. I don't know. Alright. Just took that under there. But like I said before, guys, feel free just to skip through most of this if you just want to get to the point. Well, almost it. Four minutes of me just scrubbing up paper. Alright guys, so, once you get that 
Maybe if you guys can see the paper. I don't know if you guys can. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, we are officially out of paper. So, so let's just chuck those little pieces in there. We're not gonna, it doesn't matter. All right, so next thing is cardboard. So I already have cut up cardboard in here, not that much, but some. And then, so where do you put the paper in? Not all the way in the back, just slide it on top. Like. Okay, there you go. Slide it through. Not in the, um, not where the wood goes. It should not be on top of here. It should be under, on top of the paper. But you can put it on there if you want, like on top of the fire rack. I wouldn't recommend it though because it'll take. Like I tried it before and it didn't work out so good. So let's just do that. Put stuff under there. This part goes fairly quick, guys. Let's just stick that in there. One more piece. Okay, so you got that part in there, and then time for the fun part, the logs. So let's put about three logs in there, small logs, like this, because they'll dry, or not dry, because they're smaller, so they're gonna catch on fire. But I just brought in the logs from outside. So it's gonna be cold, so my fire's gonna light a bit um, slower than yours. But that's okay. Oh, oh no, oh no, no, no. That's not good. We somehow got ash on our cardboard. Okay, we got that taken care of. So you get your, you get your handy dandy torch. So then, let's go here. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, so under here, we're gonna light the paper, not the cardboard. Some paper in the back. And then in the middle. And then to the side. All right. Oh, let's go smoke. All right, so. That is how you make a good fire, but we're not done yet, guys. Not done yet. You get your fire stick. I think that's what it's called, anyways. Push. If it's not on fire, like if it's going to the side, just do your best to push it through the middle. Because you need all that flame on the logs. But mine is going to be colder, like I said before, so it's going to take a bit longer to light. And. To help keep the heat, throw a bit of cardboard in the fire. It's not gonna hurt anything. You just don't want the cardboard underneath the log. Like, yes, you want it underneath the log, but not underneath the log. You don't want it on the fire rack. So, you wait a bit, get your logs burning, and then you close the flue halfway using your fire stick, not your hands. Oh. Um, have to have parent permission, kids. And, um, crap, I, I cannot think this morning, guys. Adult supervision. That's what I was thinking of. Safety first. Oh, I can already feel this heat. Or you guys can just use your electric fireplaces if you're like the rich people in Colorado or. Um, Texas or Arizona. I'm from Wyoming, mid class family. So we have our own fireplace that we can actually set fire. Uh, I don't know, guys. Sorry. Ooh, I almost got cardboard. Come 
So guys, it's gonna be a bit harder for me because I'm out of paper. Oh, I got an idea. Oh yeah, I have a brilliant idea. Get some cardboard. Slide it on fire. Maybe. I'm gonna light this cardboard on fire. I'm gonna just stick it under here. Be careful. Do not touch the fire hack. It's gonna hot. It's gonna burn your hand pretty much, guys. Oh come on, guys! With the fireplace, you want to be very patient. You don't want to rush it, or at least attempt to rush it, because stuff won't come good out of that. Oh yeah, this is my first kind of vlog, guys, tutorial I should say, and I have the ADHD, so yeah. Sorry if it has muffled, I got my sick earbuds you got for my birthday yesterday. They're not AirPods, fortunately, but they'll work. Oh, okay. I think we're going somewhere, Let's just throw that in there. Alright, so when you start getting this nice of a flame, I don't know if you guys can see that, um, that nice of a flame, that means your wood is burning. So just let it burn for a few after you get that so it keeps that nice steady rhythm, kind of, and let it spread out to the whole log, or most of the log anyways, and then you close the flue halfway, or chimney. In my fireplace, you don't, this doesn't have a, a fan, or a vent, fan, I think it's a fan. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, um, uh, yes, yeah, so we don't have a fan in there that will cir circulate the heat in the fire and setting it up. We have the flu if it opens. That means more oxygen is coming down, heating up the fire more, making it burn faster. So, and all the smoke is going up. Um, and the flu halfway, it's, yeah, eliminating the oxygen, um, to like where it's, not burning as quick and um but if you close the flue well smoke is still going up halfway but if you close the flue don't not when you have embers or fire because your house will be filled with smoke pretty much and then the smoke alarm will go off <sighs> i'm just waiting guys feel free to skip through this until the next part um Okay, I think I think we're getting something here. I think we're getting something. Okay, sweet. The wood is starting to burn. Let's get some more cardboard. Get more cardboard. Make sure you don't stick your hand in the flame. If you guys want, I'm not saying you should, but if you guys want use oh, yeah I guess you can if you want you guys don't trust yourself you guys can use something like this I use this to turn the logs and all that alright yeah, I think we're getting somewhere I think we're getting somewhere alright so we our fire is gone now guys Our fire is going. There, that's better. So we're gonna close this to halfway. M reminder, keep your head out of the fire. So you just look up with your fire stick. Look up to where the handle is of the flu to close it. Oh, got it. All right, the flu is closed halfway. I'm not sure if I wanna do this. Yeah, I'm not gonna do. Oh wait, yeah, here we go. See, our flues close halfway, and then make sure, make sure that I don't know if you guys can see this right here. Yeah, our chain. Make sure you close the chain so you don't have fire jumping out at you. You never know. 
you, you can never be too safe. So let's let that burn for a little bit. Let's put our, make sure you clean up your area, like putting cardboard back, um, trash where it needs to go. So let's put the cardboard back over here. So, oh. so what we're gonna use, guys, next, after we get like, the fire really going, so here shortly, we're gonna use one of these. It is a wood pellet brick. Um, you can get them at Menards, Home Depot, I'm not so sure about Walmart, but Menards, that's where we go to get our wood. Um, unfortunately, we don't go chopping trees. We're from Wyoming, and yeah, we just go to Menards. Anyways, um, you don't have to use this. Use your logs if you want, but this is what I use, so um, I'm going to put it in now because the fire is looking really hot. I can actually feel the heat coming from here. And guys, sorry about everything, like how, it, how I can't flip the camera over and all that. I'm using my Android. Um, all right, so just don't be afraid of the fire, but don't stick your hand in the fire. Kind of common sense, like I said before. So just go ahead and put your brick on the logs or just wait till your logs burn down to ash. Um, and then you, got, you guys got a nice fire. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and ring that little bell notification if you want to see more awesome tutorials of how to make a nice fire or how shall we drive away? I, I don't know. But yeah. Peace, guys.